flanks of it will become yeah c 6 and c 7 then what will be added to further c 7 and c so okay c 8 and c 9 and all of them will come they are laughing they have made a friendly circle which is least friendly to the bacterium they are only friendly with each other they will make a circle like this so it means this protein that this is making a sort of complex which is having a pore in the center is that right this complex can be also shown like this they have assembled into a what is this now let's suppose C5 B this is a peptide C5 B width on the flanks what are there C six and what was here C seven C six and seven and what were here yeah C eight and nine all these proteins assemble together and make a special type of membrane uh, protein complex which have a central pore and this will simply detach from here and fall on the bacterial surface and when it will fall on the bacterial surface what do you think if on a simple membrane we put a very strong acid what will happen to that it will produce a hole in the same way this will fall on that and it will dissolve here like this these protein complex so repeatedly more and more complexes will fall so do you think membrane is under attack or not it is just like you are drilling holes in the membrane of the bacterium do you think bacteria will be very happy with this thing it is just like putting a drill machine grrr, grrr, grrr. will just survive longer same is true about bacteria these biological molecules which are generated by activation of complement especially C5B 6, 7, 8, 9, these are very naughty, they circulate and then attack the membrane. So, this naughty group of compl activated complements are called membrane attack complex. So, the whole purpose of all this activation was to produce membrane attacks complexes. And these events before that, these events are called early events or early steps in complement activation and these are called terminal events or late events in activation of complement is that right the purpose of whole this game was that we could produce membrane attack complex what is membrane attack complex this consists of the last components of the complement activation system c5b 6 7 8 9 and they make pores and they don't digest the membrane enzymatically, no. They don't do enzymatic damage to the membrane. They simply these circulate and mechanically they dissolve into lipid membrane of the bacteria and then they produce, this disrupt the physical integrity of the bacterial membrane. These membrane attack complexes disrupt the physical integrity of the bacterial membrane. So of course, can bacteria keep its private environment in? No. The things which are inside will leak out and unwanted things will move and so bacteria will die. Is it difficult to understand? This type of attack is, do you think, more effective on gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria? Gram negative bacteria has outer lipid membrane. Gram positive bacteria do not have outer lipid membrane. Let me tell you a little thing about gram positive bacteria and gram negative. What is the real difference? Gram positive bacteria has lipid membrane in which it is, it is you know cell membrane of the gram positive. Here is cell membrane of gram negative. These two things are common. Then gram positive has lot of peptido, what is this? Glycans. These are special type of molecules 
they make a very thick layer peptide molecule cross linked by glycan units so this is gram positive gram negative has a very thin peptide glycan and for their special function they are having outer additional lipid membrane this is gram negative this is gram negative and here it is gram positive bacterium what do you think membrane attack complex will more effectively attack the gram positive membrane or gram negative membrane positive. Oh. Negative. where membrane is more accessible oh, look if I keep my hand too much exposed chances of being attacked are more the best way to confirm is walk on the road very busy road like this is that right is that right but if you keep it like this less chances to be attacked gram positive has membrane only inside gram negative has a membrane outside as well so membrane attack complex can more effectively destroy gram negative bacteria and less effectively going and destroying gram positive as you may be thinking why I'm highlighting this thing because in some inherited disorders you don't have these proteins and the people who do not have enough complement proteins which play a role in the last part of the complement system for example if Mr. Abdul does not have C, 5B or 6, 7, 8, 9 or any one of them is deficient especially uh, C, 6, 7, 8, 9 we call them terminal components of the complement system if he has deficiency of this problem will be mainly with gram positive or gram negative handling negative. gram negative so gram negative bacteria will attack him more so Mr. Abdul will suffer especially with some special bacteria right for example Mr. Abdul and Mr. Essen they are having the same activities and both are getting the gram negative bacteria but Mr. Abdul has less these component so he will suffer with gram negative bacteria more who will suffer Abdul or Essen Abdul and you know which one which special type of gram negative you really want to know there's a very special type of gram negative which specially attack those people very severely who do not have these component we don't know why especially those gram negative are uh, too much uh, active in these people you can guess about Mr. Abdul Strat. even though the activities of Abdul and activity of Essen are same but same bacteria are being exposed to both of them but he has more chances to suffer with recurrent infections of those bacteria right Abdul has more chances because he has less these component and he has less chances of course bacteria are gram negative but a very special group of gram negative Shah, you know gonorrhea gonococci you don't know gonococci you know gonorrhea infection sexually transmitted gonorrhea. bacteria gonorrhea or gonorrhea whatever you call it <laughs> but these gonococci or gonococci whatever you love to call them right and plus meningococci gonococcal infections and meningococcal infections are especially more severe and more recurrent in the patient who have deficiency of terminal components is that right am I clear to you right so gonococci and meningococci as a group are called nazaria they are called nazaria nazaria the spellings are like this nazaria group of bacteria some people write I suppose it is right but anyway you understand even if it's not right is that right so next time in the, if your MCQ it appears a person is repeatedly experiencing the uh, nazarial infections or gonococcal infections what's wrong with him of course one reason may be that he's having too much sexual activity in a very much uh, reckless fashion but other reason may be that he's having these also deficient 